Okay, so we're, we are going to go ahead and set up this breadboard here. Um, and essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to hook in the chips um, that we need to complete our project. We're just going to hook in the first chip because sometimes that's kind of the hardest thing to do uh, initially. So, okay, so we have our breadboard here and the very first thing we're going to do is to power our rails. So notice that, um, so notice that what we got here is we have rails running up the side. So that's the positive rail and we have the negative rail, okay, we, or the ground. So that's the very first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to go ahead and power those. So we got, um, we're going to find, now on ours, in general, we'd put this to an outlet. So in my case, I have a board here that has a five volt uh, power uh, outlet right there. So we're gonna go ahead and power the, the positive rail. And we're also gonna go ahead and power the negative rail. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and power the negative rail also. Or sorry, not to power it, but we're gonna connect the negative rail to ground. And this is just an easy way then that we can connect everything else to power and ground. So then we have, so essentially what we have now is we have a rail of power going up the board here, and we have a rail of ground right next to it going up the board, okay? All right, so now that we have our rails done, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and add an IC, okay? So we have a 7404, uh, sorry, it's 74LS04. Uh, so this is just an inverter chip, okay? So I have my chip here, and what the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this little deviation in the board here. So this is like a, a, this splits the two sides of the board, and the chip should straddle that board. Also, if I look at the chip really closely here, really super closely, uh, you'll see at the top of the chip, that there's this little like u-shaped indentation it's very hard to see on your screen right now but there's a little like u-shaped indentation and when i go to get the data sheet what it's what it's going to look like is this so if i go online i get the data sheet it's going to look something like this so the chip i'm putting in this is the chip right so that is the 74 ls 04 chip it's an inverter right and uh so what I have here is I have all the pins. So notice I have my U-shaped channel. That's, the, that's how I know how to orient it. I've got my ground pin and I've got my power pin, the VCC, right? So the very first thing I'm gonna do when I put a chip on the breadboard is I'm gonna go ahead and put the chip on. It's gonna straddle, uh, it's gonna straddle that deviation that I talked about, that little dip in the board. Oops, sometimes they're a little tough to get in. Okay, so. My chip's a little bit bent here. All right, so it doesn't really matter for us where it's going in as far as which row. We want to make sure that all the pins go in correctly. All right, and there we have it. So it's in the board at this point. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power and ground the chip. So notice the chip is there. It's straddling that, that little dip in the board. And the very next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ground and power the chip. So notice that I look at my pinout, right? So my pinout told me that my uh, pin 14 is to power and pin seven is to ground, okay? And remember the chips usually start numbering for the left of that little divot at the top. Okay, so I find pin seven and that's going to ground. So there it's on the bottom left-hand corner of the chip. So I just put it straight over to my ground rail Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and power it, and basically I'm running the uh, power over to pin 14, and that's going to power and ground my chip. All right. Now I know that my wires look a little bit messy here, um, and this is not the right way to do it. Okay, your wires should be clean; they should fit flat against the board, basically. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is now this is an inverter chip, right? So let's go ahead and set up a little bit of a test. So we're going to go ahead and put our our uh, LED. I have an LED here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it into a row over here and put the long side towards the electricity, the short side to ground, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wire, uh, I'm gonna wire something from a switch. So what you're gonna imagine is, is that if you're using a simulation, the wire coming out of the switch is gonna carry electricity, okay? So electricity is gonna come out of the switch. I go back to my pinout, right? And let's see what I wanna use. So my first gate on the pinout if I look at it, 
if it's it's going into pin one that's my input you see the inverter gate and it's coming out of pin two and it's going to be inverted all right so i'm going to have my switch go into pin one okay so i just connect it right up to pin one and then i'm going to take that electricity out of pin two or that signal out of pin two and i'm going to feed that into my led all right now this the board that i'm using doesn't have power in this case so it's not a not a great uh um uh, demonstration here but this is essentially what it should look like at that point so if you can imagine or not imagine but if but so essentially what's happening is so just to review we first we ground and powered the rails right so that got that got ground and powered my rails okay then I went ahead and I went ahead and put my chip in okay my chip is straddling this divot right here as soon as I put my chip in, I went to find the pin out and I went ahead and grounded and powered the chip. And then it's ready to go. Then I can use the gates inside the chip. So in this case, all I did was take a wire, a, a signal from a switch, right? That carries electricity in. That goes through the inverter gate inside the chip. The electricity comes out, whatever that signal is, goes through the LED and then back to ground. Okay? So I hope that helps set up your first board. Thank you.